Hey everybody, this is David Mars with Mars HVAC Services. I um, wanted to go over a quick right soft tip here. Uh, a lot of people ask the question of how do you actually set up um, isoning in the ceilings when you have a house. So here's my house right here and how I'm going to go about doing that is click on the room, right click so that way you see the property screen. Once you do see the property screen, let's go down to our duct loss factor. We're going to click on that. Make sure it says encapsulated attic. Um, another way to do it that I've seen some people do it is condition space. Sometimes that brings your load down a little bit too much. Um, even though the attic area is completely sealed and you have the isoning, and yes, it, it does become condition space, not all jurisdictions recognize that as condition space. So the best bet is to go with encapsulated attic, put that on both. On your ceiling of your ductwork, I would put extreme, then leave that. And then we're going to go over and back into properties again and go into ceiling. And you'll set your ceiling up in the, the manner here. Your roof material, whatever it is for this house, we have asphalt shingles. Our roof insulation, because if you look at, down here at the little diagram, our insulation is going to be right there on the roof line since this is isoning. This one is going to be R22. The attic type, typically we do vented. But in this case, we're going to make it encapsulated because it's going to be completely sealed off. We have no ceiling insulation. That's going to be the, the insulation that would be directly with the ceiling of the, each room. There's none of that. We only have roof insulation and, of course, our half-inch gypsum board. And once we select that, we have properly set up our room to show that it has icing and insulation in the ceiling.